Philippines is for Christ. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And that is our beloved country. The Philippine Island, an apostolic, prophetic, living like Jesus, God sending missionary to the ends of the earth. At dahil sa katotohanan ito, the prophecy must be fulfilled because the prophecy changes not. At tinatawagan ko, lahat ng nasa fivefold, ang mga intercessors, ang mga congregation, ano man po ang ating denomination, fellowship label names, movement coalition, manalangin po tayo para sa ating bansa. Ipanalangin po natin ang propesya ay papangarihin ng Diyos mula ngayon at sa bawat taong dadating. Especially we are living in the season of God's visitation. Panalangin po natin ang ating Pangulo na huwakan lang Diyos ang kanyang puso at isip na ang kanyang pasya at desisyon ay palaging ayon sa gusto ng Diyos. Ang IATF na huwag sila magkaroon ng pasyang taliwas sa nais ng Diyos para sa ating bansa. Kailangan tayo po ay manalangin ang taimtim para sa kanila sabagat marami pong mga involved na tao na nagdidesisyon na bumubo sa IATF para sa mga health protocol para sa kapakanan ng ating bansa aling sunod sa mga variant na dumadating kagaya po ng napapaabot sa atin concerning Delta variant. Kaya na kailangan ay hindi masyadong mahigpit kailangan magkaroon ng kalayaan ng sambayan ng Pilipino kasabay ng pagsunod sa health protocol upang ba iwasan ang anumang kapahamakan sa bawat individual. Lalo na reason para bumalik pa tayo sa mga lockdown na yan, mahigpit ng mga lockdown, dahil tinapos na ng Diyos ang lahat ng yan and we are moving forward as a country. Huwag po tayong tumigil hanggang hindi nagaganap ang kalooban ng Diyos. At the same time, let us pass and pray, preparing our country for the visitation of God. Nag-prophesy ko sa inyo na nakalipas and God fulfilled that. Ngayong taong ito, from January onwards, ay wala tayong tigil na dinadalo ng Diyos. At sa dadating na taon, ay masabi ang visitation. And the devil is doing his best to thwart the plan of God. But let me say these things and this truth to all of you. The devil cannot thwart the plan of God and no one can thwart the plan of God. We are moving forward. The prophecy changes not. God is much ready, willing and able to display His great power and glory in answer to our united, corporate, unceasing, believing, prevailing, prayer and fasting. Inintay lamang po ng Diyos ang ating pagsunod. So again, I'm calling everybody, let us earnestly pray for our country sa aking mga ipinaabot ng mga item. Personally and corporately, let us pray and pray and pray and don't stop praying till the will of God is done. Do not be complacent. The devil is roaring like a lion seeking whom he want to devour. And he must devour no one. We have all the power and authority to bind the works of the devil in to lose the will, the works, and the plan of God for our country. And I ask today that God visit you at lagay ngayon ng kabigatan in the spirit of prayer cover you. Lahat ng mga churches sa buong Pilipinas mula sa NCR, Luzon, Bisayat, Mindanao, let us pray. Let us pray as one, let us unite as one, let us work as one, for we win as one. Salamat sa inyong pagsunod. Salamat sa inyong pagkaunawa na malibang tayo po'y gumalaw, ay hindi magaganap ang kalooban ng Diyos sa bansang ito. We are the salt and the light of the earth, and it's time to arise and shine. For the Lord is coming any moment, for the Philippines is for Christ. Thank you for praying and praying and praying, and praying, and praying. God answers prayer, and the Holy Spirit leads us all. 
intercede through us, groan and travail through us. And the will of God is done. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers and making the Philippine Island our blessed nation. And everybody who live a life of prayer and will not stop praying till the Philippines become God's Asia's burning bush that will bless the world. Agree with me and say, Amen and Amen.